How are we doing? All right, I'm, I'm good. How are you doing? Yeah, good. I've just been having some trouble here, um, you know, with my Instagram account. I'm, I'm trying to take photos of food. There's like a burger photo with fries. Right. I, I'm trying to There's work a burger a in there? All right, well, yeah, yeah. that's... How about cheese sticks? Okay. You know, I probably would have taken it out of the oven first before you decided to <laughs> shoot it, but, you know, those are all things that we can talk about. All right, good. You have to transport people to the experience. Things can taste delicious, and you can see something beautiful in person, but you have to do a few things to make sure it translates. Um, this looks good. Yeah, it looks delicious. The lighting is not really great here. And one of the most important things about taking a good food photo is having really good natural light. What I would do is take my plate over to a window. This is perfect. You have the nice soft light illuminating the food. If it were sunny, the light would be much more direct and kind of harsh. But if you want something a little bit softer, find some indirect sunlight. Right. Too complicated? No, no, it makes sense. It's looking really good, right? Yeah, I, I, unbelievable. You can see all of the detail in there. It's really nice. It's like with the coleslaw, too, I can see, you know, just... Yeah, it looks nice and crunchy, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah absolutely. Instead of, like, soft and sunny. You're already improving so much. I have 25 followers. I think by the end of this, I'm gonna have like 100. Oh my God, I like, can't even imagine. The star, I'm moving I, the star. We're sitting at a window seat, so the lighting is already taken care of, right? Yeah, I can So see, good. Like, the, the wash, the yeah. wash of natural light. Yeah. Thinking about the angle in which you're shooting is really important. There are two ways that I like to think of shooting food, either at like a 45 degree angle. Yep, yep exactly like this. And that's about focusing on one specific dish, especially when there's height to it or there's a lot of texture to it. Or you can choose to shoot from above in which you're getting a really graphic image of the whole meal. Think about which elements you're including in the shot. Raise it higher, get a little bit lower. So it doesn't matter if you cut some of the things off. The more you're hinting at, the more you're leaving to people's imagination. imagination. Okay. You understand that from storytelling, yeah, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, that was right. perfect. Oh, uh, really? Yeah, that's 100 followers right there. The pressure's on, but I'm ready. But I'm you ready. know what, I think, I think you got a good handle on it. Hey, the power of a compliment helps. We know the different angles that we can shoot for food. Now I really want you to think about the way that the dish itself looks in the photo. Okay. Sometimes, if there's a garnish, or in this case, Parmesan, I'll ask for a little bit extra on the side, and then I can kind of like garnish it myself. Oh, whoa, 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 whoa. Don't just like take the whole thing oh, okay. and like dump it on there. Sprinkle it on, kind of like nice and fresh that looks. You want it to feel like it's prepared, but also ready for somebody to just dig in and eat. This is full on styling mode now. Don't just think about what the subject is, but think about everything around it. If you're only going to have a sliver of a dish in there, it either should be out or it should be like really part of it. See how it's just like barely sticking it's, it's in It's almost there. an eyesore. I mean, I actually feel more confident taking these now. I mean, it's crazy. I feel like we might need to give ourselves a challenge and like go into a dark corner. This is honestly the environment that you're probably going to be in when you're shooting your own photography. I'm gonna put this wine here. There you I go. Guess. Yeah, get that clutter out of the way. I'm gonna take this challenge. I gotta do it right. I think we're almost there. Okay. Yeah, so another styling moment. Maybe think about how you can include a fork in there as if you're actually eating it. Try one more. Loving it. Oh, look how good that looks. I think that you managed to pass the ultimate challenge. You want to chow down now? 